One thing I always appreciate having uh, when you're just in a situation where you got so many questions on what if, what is it, what's it going to be, what's going to go down, is getting and having clarity, having a clear understanding of what it's going to be moving forward so you can know how to progress. And in this situation, it was no different because we just really didn't have clarity on exactly what was going on with Lamar Jackson. We heard it was a knee injury. We heard he was week to week. We also heard last year, I believe, that he was week to week and he never played another snap for the Ravens uh, for the rest of the season. Um, now, while I didn't expect that same outcome to be the case with this injury, it's nice to know exactly what it is now. Um, Adam Schefter, uh, he reported that uh, the Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson suffered a sprained PCL during Sunday's win over the Denver Broncos. Per league sources, PCL injuries often sideline players one to three weeks and Ravens head coach John Harbaugh already has said Jackson is less likely to play Sunday versus the Pittsburgh Steelers now I don't think any of us expected especially after the press but even before the press I don't think any of us expected him to play uh, against the Pittsburgh Steelers but us having sort of a time frame uh, that does help clear up some things now just because we have a certain time frame, it doesn't mean that that's what the time frame will be. Because we've seen sometimes where, hey, a player is expected to be back in X amount of time and they come back in Y amount of time or even sometimes in Z amount of time. And what I mean when I say that, the expectation here is set. One to three weeks. It's a, they typically miss one to three weeks. Um, so he could end up missing one week and he could beat this timetable well not necessarily beat it but he could be right at the top of this timetable which would be great we'd be like all right lamar jackson's back he's healthy no setbacks everything looks good to go then there's the instance where he could miss more time where he could miss three maybe even four weeks now we hope that doesn't happen but anything's possible till it isn't possible anymore i wouldn't expect that to be the case because yeah, I just wouldn't expect that to be the case, especially with Lamar Jackson. Um, but we'll see. We won't know till we know. But one to three weeks, um, say, for instance, the worst case scenario, it being three weeks. Hopefully, we don't have worst case scenario. Hopefully, we have best case scenario. Uh, but worst case scenario, three weeks would be him missing the Steelers game. And I mean, all these games are big. Every last one of these games are huge. Um, but it would be the Steelers game, the Browns game, and I want to say the Falcons game after that. Uh, so all winnable games, but also all losable games, too. I mean, it's the NFL. These teams come, they come with it. They come with it. Um, so now, Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley, uh, there is, there's a lot of pressure on him. There was a lot of pressure on him last year, and Ravens just, the Ravens could not get it done. They could not get it done. Uh, so that's why we're all hoping that this year will be much different uh, with Tyler Huntley under center. Uh, because it happened last year, Lamar, he hooked him up. He like, hey, look, I left y'all in a good spot. He got injured, went out, season was done. Uh, now this time, he hooked the Ravens up. And, and even with all their issues and all their problems and all this and that, they are sitting at 8-4. and four. Top of the AFC North, third in the AFC Conference. At 8-4 and four with all these Ravens issues? Like, tell, like if, if somebody would have told you all the issues that the Ravens are going to have, and we in like week 12 or 13, whatever it is right now, if somebody would have told you all the issues that the Ravens have, do you think they will be sitting at 8-4? and four? So you got, you got to give them some credit now, man. You got to give them some credit. And I know we, they, they got their issues. They got their stuff that they need to improve, that they need to work on and whatnot. But for them to be sitting at 8-4 and four with all the stuff going on, ooh, man, that's something. But now Lamar's out for who knows how long. So with Tyler Huntley, uh, we just hope that, Hope that he can uh, hold it down. Hope that he can hold it down and things will go a lot better than they did uh, last year. He does have the experience of last year under his belt. Um, so he, he should be more ready and more prepared. And hopefully the Ravens are more ready and more prepared. I think right now, like coaching was already a huge thing with the Baltimore Ravens. But now it gets put on the forefront even more because you don't have your starting quarterback out there. And the quarterback is one of, if not the most important position on a football team, especially depending on a football team. But for the Ravens, yes, it is the most important position on this Ravens football team. Um, so now that you don't have your quarterback, coaching got to be 10 times better. It, it really does. It has to be 10 times better because when you're playing with your backup and not that Tyler Huntley is incompetent at all because he's not. But when you're playing with your backup quarterback, you know that your quarterback, your backup is not your starter. 
So things change. And as we discussed in the video earlier today, we saw a lot of things that had changed with the Ravens offense with Tyler Huntley under center. And you could check that video out for more on that. Um, but another question that I've seen a lot of people ask and think about and whatnot um, is, will Lamar play again this season? Will Lamar, is Lamar sitting out? I even saw somebody say, oh, I think Lamar is quitting on the team. And I disagree with that. I don't think he's sitting out. I know the whole contract thing is still going on, but I don't think he's sitting out due to the contract. I don't think he's quitting on the team at all. Just think he got hurt. Think he got hurt. Uh, I definitely would not want to think that Lamar Jackson going into what's probably going to be a franchise tag year next year. I don't think it, it possibly a contract year. We'll just see how things shake out. But I don't think he's going to be like, ah, right, well, you know what? I'm not going to play anymore. I just. I, I couldn't see that, especially the position that the Baltimore Ravens are in right now with an opportunity to possibly make it to the playoffs and then who knows what from there. Uh, but I don't think he would want to end his season like this. He would end want to end it on a sour note, even if the injury isn't anything serious, even if it isn't long term. I don't think he'd be like, all right, you know what, I'm going to use this injury and I'm going to just sit out the rest because I ain't got a contract. No, I, I don't see that happening and I don't see that being the case. I, I don't think you should either, but we, we all do see things differently, but I, I don't think that's it. That's what it is at all. Um, but we'll see now. Now we see. Now we wait. Now we're just uh, we got to see how long it takes for Lamar to come back. And until then, it will be the Tyler Huntley show. So team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all check out that episode of question from subs that we dropped early today. We out.